Hello, everyone. We're back. I hope you missed us because we're adorable and stuff. Because we That's are. That's an anime crossing. I, I'd like to think that they. I like to think that they. Uh, they came up with that team name based on based on Bilbro. Uh, just because he used to play Animal Crossing. He what do you mean anymore. used to? No, I, I refuse to accept that he still plays Animal Crossing. I'm pretty Crossing. sure he still plays Animal Crossing. I think that's a thing. So Demacia versus Ionia. <laughs> For time being, we were, we were doing some faction matches Thursday. Have yet to change that. First so, few bands coming out. So here's, a th here's, here's something interesting. You know I haven't seen in a really long time in a game? A Jarvan ban. That's targeted towards Ferrisar. Is it? Because no, you know also haven't seen in a very long time. Ferrisar played Jarvan. <laughs> he keeps it as his secret weapon. No, I think it was banned out to uh, Boros. Mm. He's been playing some Jarvan last week. Uh, he managed, I think he played... I know he played two games of Jarvan. And has been doing pretty good with it, so... And there's the Nami ban. That was targeted towards Cuddles Panda. Uh, right. We watched him. I think right. it was just it was straight game one and two they played last to yeah, get no, to the I, final four. I, I remember. I remember. Yeah, that. you do. I remember those games. I casted those games. Those games were were hard to watch. And now everything is just gonna happen, and we're gonna see stuff happen, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, we have Kyle with his beautiful. Kyle's got his beautiful music playing in the background. Don't worry about that, guys. Yeah, that's my girlfriend's music. That's probably some Coldplay. Or Boxer Rebellion, who is basically Coldplay, but with a name that is a lot more... Violent. Yeah. That is not hipster. Nobody heard him say that. The Boxer Rebellion is not hipster, guys. I don't know. Uh, they might be. They could be hipsters. I wouldn't know. I've never seen them or talked to them. But they could be. That's that's your homework, everyone. Your homework is to find out whether or not the Boxer Rebellion are a bunch of hipsters or not. I expect full reports by next Sunday. I, you know, I, what? I, I'll, I'll accept it. What? You'll accept that they are? Yeah. Rebellions weren't hip back then. So I'll accept that they were hipsters. It's fine. <laughs> I'll allow it. Do you know anything about the actual Boxer Rebellion? I'd have to take a refresher course. That would have to be a thing. All right. Well, for anyone who's curious, is this Wikipedia for the actual historical event or the Wikipedia for... Okay. So if anyone's curious, I'm going to link this in the chat <laughs> so that you guys can have... This is your, this is your history lesson for the day. I'm doing y'all a, a little bit of a favor here. There you go. That's a Wikipedia link to the Boxer Rebellion, the actual Boxer Rebellion. The Boxer Rebellion, Boxer Uprising, or I don't know how to say that, movement, was an anti-foreign proto-nationalist movement by the Righteous Harmony Society, also known as some Chinese things, in China between 1899 and 1901, opposing the foreign imperialism and Christianity. That's the Didn't first sentence hatchets? of the Wikipedia article. Wasn't that a thing? What? Didn't they use hatchets? I'm sure somebody probably or is, or is, or is that a, is that a re, is that a rebellion called the Hatchet Rebellion? I don't know. Well, I, I'm think sure a, I think that's a, I think that's Assassin's Creed Three is what that is. <laughs> no. So anyway, back so anyway, from the history lesson. Yeah, back from back to League of Legends because that's what we're doing here. Uh, we've got Johnny Graves, Sona, MF, and then Zach and and Sijuani. BP Jester, being being. The, the pr brilliant person that he is is uh, trying to take Oriana from Marinabot, which is probably a good idea. <laughs> yep, and that's going to be locked in. So, Marinabot, what you going to do? What you know about that? I, I think if anybody could play against Mar uh, Oriana, it would be Marinabot, since she plays Oriana all the time. One would, one would hope. One would hope. Yeah. Do you think we're going to see that AP Jana craziness again? I hope not. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I don't think Marina Bot would do that. Marinara sauce, as I call her. Oh well. Oh okay. I was gonna get really excited for a second. I saw it. I saw a Rengar, and I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got Lux going mid. Uh, 
it looks like we got the Zed pick too. So an interesting team comp there. I feel like. Yes, it is. Well, the thing with that team comp is it's got a little bit of that distance based lockdown, nothing too extreme, not like Sejuani ultimate, but it does have, it does have the binding and it does have the tornado, which can be followed up by Zed and Zach. Yeah, they have a lot of disengage, so. Yeah, they do. Hopefully they can They also, they also have two group. Z champions. Yes. How about that? Of the five Z champions, they have two. All right, well, and then the Vladimir pick, last pick in there. So what are we What are we looking at here? We're probably looking at Zach jungle, Sejuani jungle. Engraves Janna against MF Sona. We're looking at uh, probably Oriana mid, Vladimir top. I, I would Lux, imagine. I would imagine that's that work. Lux mid, Zed top. How do you how do you feel about the Zed Vladimir top lane? I don't know. I think Zed, he has an advantage pretty early, but once level seven, roll or level eight, eight and nine roll around, Vlad starts to take control of that game. He starts to just life steal everything. He does have pool to, hopefully dodge. There's a little bit of a buffer timer on – it's maybe a half a second where when he dashes, you can pool and completely dodge Zed ult. Right. So it's, right. A, it's a complicated lane to be sure. Uh, Zed just wants to – I would imagine just start two and level two and three is going to be Vlad's weakest point. Yeah. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised to see Sedge run up top and try to help out with that. I mean, Vlad on a gank isn't especially uh, dangerous either, though. No. But even just showing pressure and trying to just get Vlad to level 9. Right. Get Vlad to level 9 as quick as possible. Especially against the Zed. I mean, if Zed can if Zed can get early kills, I think the lane is going to be much more difficult for Vlad. The thing with Vlad is Vlad can always come back because he's Vlad. So... Yeah, it does have quite a bit of farm farm potential. A lot it's of kind of like clear. Kind of like singed. You can shut them down in lane, but if you just leave them alone after that, that it, 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 they'll just be back. I mean, that's that's the that's the rule with every champion. They can come back, but Vlad, like Vlad and singed, can come back super quick. They can wave yeah. clear pretty fast. Yeah, they also come back and are tanky, sort of. Yeah, <laughs> which is another problem. Just from how they build. And a lot of Vladimir players don't have a problem with it because they play Vlad and they know how to uh, manage his resource spending, which is his health. Mm -hmm. But if you sit there and spam E without, which is Tides of Blood for those of you who don't know, it does cost health. So if he gets pretty close to that half health mark, Zed can pop his passive on Vladimir, which does 8% health in magic damage. Yeah, which is dangerous because Vladimir gets health for AP. <laughs> yep. Well, it's so. it's just it's a max health thing. You don't actually lose AP when you're missing health. No, no, I know, thing. but I mean, I'm mean, just saying it's dangerous because Vladimir, when he builds, inherently gets more health. Yeah. Just from building. So Zed's passive is more dangerous because it's going to do more damage. Wait, somebody, somebody, quickly name <laughs> name Vladimir's passive for me. I'm trying to think of what it's called. Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to memorize. It. I'm trying to memorize it. I can't. Crimson Pact. Yes, there it is. Crimson Pact. So Something I packed. don't know if I don't know if they did this on purpose, but uh, but BPG is kind of Vlad and the ladies. Because Vlad's got swag. Leave him alone. <laughs> is that what that is? It's Twilight swag. Twilight, Twilight swag. <laughs> Twilight don't. swag. Twilight swag sounds like a superhero code name. Please don't. Please don't crucify me for that. <laughs> don't crucify me for that comment. <laughs> Just wait until he buys a sunfire cape. Oh man, the jokes. All right, here we go. We are out of this three-minute delay and into the loading screen. Toaster award time. 
Who will be the honorary toaster award winner for this game? Mike, if you had to guess, who would it be? Uh, well, I'm waiting to get into the loading screen. Actually, no, no, just so. pick someone. Pick someone before they start loading. Go. Uh, marinara sauce. All right. He thinks that he thinks that Lux is going to get the toaster award. Let's find out. Well, it's definitely not Sona. <laughs> <laughs> Sona's done. Yeah, Sona, Sona is loaded up and ready to ready to f and play. Uh, Sun is loaded. The, t dude, the toaster awards between Ferrisar and Marina Bot. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Marina Bot's toast. <laughs> She's toast. <laughs> uh, yep. Ah, oh, there it is, Lex. <laughs> toaster award. That, that was unintentional, by the way. Yeah, I know. That was funny, though. I laughed. You heard it. <laughs> oh, man. That's strong. All right, there it is. So that was strong. Now that we got that taken out of the way, we're taken care of. We got it taken care of, and it's out of the way. So it's taken out of the way, I guess. Steel, steel toaster lux. It's a thing. Steel toaster <laughs> lux. <laughs> Brave little toaster lux skin. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> You're gonna make me dust off that movie today. Oh man. Oh man. So we are underway here. Lots of Dorn's blade, two Dorn's blades for. Uh, well, I know Ferrisar does Dorn's blade all the time. Yeah. Thing. All the Dorn's blades. That's how men start their game. Is that how men start? Awards. What yeah, you don't need that. What if you no. start in mid lane do you, and you're an AP champion? Do you men still start with a Dorn's blade? Yes. You would say that just to be <laughs> contrary. Just, just, just to, just to be a douche. Yes, exactly. Oh well, Ferrisar is taken to laughing in the middle of the lane. Oh man, so I'm gonna scroll away from that, seeing as how I'm not actually on the camera. I'm just gonna go to the, one of the bases. I can't handle the Lux laugh with Zed, it's too much. <sighs> well, Vladimir is hanging out all by himself in that bush. Reckless. Jungle invades have gotten a little more. Eh, they've gotten a little more interesting since the change to the jungle, where everything spawns at a minute fifty-five seconds. Because now, in, oh, Vlad got caught by a light binding, but nothing bad's gonna happen to him. He's just gonna get caught by a light binding. And take a couple wards coming out. Just, just one on each side, so far. The same, same spot too. Yep. So I don't think anyone's particularly interested in an invade right now. I'd imagine you would actually ward like Wraith Bush or even the Red Bush instead of that spot right there. Oh, it might have been a panic ward. Well, no, both teams did it. Oh. They warded in the exact same spot on opposite sides. Maybe it was a panic spot on both sides? I don't know. <laughs> so basic jungle starts, no invades, nothing, nothing too exciting as they... And I'd imagine that there's a little stress. Like, they've been fighting, they've been practicing, they've been studying each other, obviously. Seeing as how Oriana's grabbed. Like Predators. All the bands. Yes. Everything. <laughs> yes. Exactly. And it's. We apologize. We know a lot more about Anime Crossing than we do about BP. And we yeah. apologize for that. If we're, if we're going to be pretty. If we're going to be totally honest and forthcoming. Anime Crossing contains a bunch of our friends, so that we play with fairly regularly. So we, we know them. <laughs> but Zed right now running up onto Vlad. He's doing that thing we talked about, where he's not letting Vlad do things. We hit level two first, so that's a big that's a big thing. And doing things and yeah, let's <laughs> yeah, great English. All right, great well English. Lux is hitting Oriana with some bindings. Oriana is firing right back with some balls. There's some ball, some serious ball movement going on. Sejuani coming up to gank Zed. She is in that bush. She runs in. He's level two. He's just gonna shadow away, and uh, he's gonna get slowed. But I don't think anything else is gonna happen. Nah, everything's gay. Yeah, see, because Vlad, offensively in this situation, really isn't gonna do anything until he's like level nine. A hundred percent useless until. Uh... Until he hits max stacks on Tides of Blood. 100% useless. Oh, well, Sejuani's gonna go back in. 
So, so Dwami just kind of wants to hang out and stay in this lane. She's keeping Zed off the business. Oh, but we're gonna oh. see a counter gank here from Zach. And there's no ward coverage. So let's see what happens now. Uh, both top laners have great escapes, so I don't, I don't think anything bad will happen. I could be wrong. I Graves think... is getting dangerously low in the bot lane as well, so anime crossing's bot lane. Probably, probably thinking about backing. Probably need to. When Zach lands, when he th throws himself at people with the elastic slingshot and little goop balls come out, I'm always like, dude, pull yourself together. <laughs> That's always what goes through my head. <laughs> Get it together, man. What are you doing? <laughs> I think it's because I watch too many bad 90s films. Zach, meanwhile, he's mid lane. Up, oh, Oriana has no idea. There's the Zach, and Lux is there. The binding has not come out yet. There it is. Lux landing some auto attacks. Oh, but Sidwani's here. Zach's gonna pick up first blood. Sidwani not staying with it on to Lux. Probably should have, because they're both very low. Uh, I, don't, I don't think Sid wanted to mess with that too much. Uh, Zach did have his passive. Yeah, Lux is. Well, I guess Lux isn't totally. Weird. I wasn't thinking she should have gone after Zed, or, uh, Zach. I was thinking she should have gone after Lux. Grave yeah, sitting on. Close to 10% health. Somewhere around that number. And Vlad taking a lot of damage in the top lane. Yep. Is Zed level 6 yet? No. Zed is not level 6 yet. And Lux with the teleport in the bot lane misses the binding due to flash from Sona, so. Kind of a wasted teleport, getting some pressure off the bot lane. I think I'm hearing a thrift shop in the background. You might, I don't know. My headphones are noise canceling. <laughs> if. If you're having a little bit of lag on the stream, we cannot adjust. You cannot adjust the resolution. We apologize. Just right-click on this actual stream, like right-click on Graves right now, and go in settings quality. Let's see why not to do this real quick, so I can actually walk you through it. Settings, or it's right-click quality, and you can put low or medium if you feel the need. <clears throat> but we are not right. dropping frames at all, so. I'm gonna drop some frames. <laughs> Alright, so what do we got going on here? For the most part, the farm game is pretty even. But uh, BP, all of BP's laners have more farm than uh, Anime Crossing's laners. Yeah, that's strange. I usually expect more out of... It is strange, especially since Anime Crossing is the only one with a kill. Gold is dead even, even with that little bit of farm that they're behind. That's because there's a kill. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Sejuani, coming in for Lux. Lux Getting does not, not have slowdown. flash. Lux is, is flashless presently. Oriana wasn't exactly ready for that, it didn't look like. No, she was getting pushed out by Lux. Lux is six, whereas Oriana was still five at the time of the gank, so. Right, right. Not a whole lot that could have been done there. I'm gonna say BP's keeping that one ward on that Wraith camp at all times. They're trying... They just want to make sure they know where Sejuani is. Knowing that one ward actually know, helps you figure out a lot about her. Like, she's if she's at Wraith, that means she's liable to come bot lane. She's also really good. She's also able to go mid lane at that point. And those Wraiths are their Wraiths, so they don't want her taking them. Wraiths are Wraiths, it's true. We're gonna... And Lux just stole blue buff. Was that was that a steal? Yes, Lux just stole... I don't, I don't think that was warded at that time. I think she just guessed really well. That was... That's just a morale. Booster, we got Zack at the top Zach lane. Zack and Zed going to Vladimir. Vladimir is out now. He's out of pools, and Zack and Zed are just gonna go ham. And Zed's flashing in for the last auto attack. Gonna flash back out with shadows. So that's how that top lane story goes. Vladimir being only level seven. He hasn't quite hit the sweet spot where he starts to do things. And that was, and that was a burp. 
from Kyle's girlfriend, everybody. Yeah, that was my girlfriend laying down the uh, laying down the law with the uh, Ultra Rama there. <laughs> if you took if you if you took if you took a look at her, you would not imagine that she is capable of such a disgusting noise. But I can tell you, oh, Sejuani's getting ganked by three people. There's Zach. The flash is blown. Ah! Oh! Binding miss. Max range binding. That would have been curtains for Sejuani if she would have hit that. And there's Vladimir. Lux and Vlad and Zach are all going to have a little bit of a powwow. And Oriana's there, going to throw that ultimate in. Oh, Lux is very low. Oriana's going to pick her up with an auto attack. Zed is there. He's going to get auto attacked by Oriana a couple times. Zach also going to go down. I think they'd rather take the sure thing at that point rather than chase the Zed. Okay. A little a little too deep for uh, Anime Crossing. Cause they're in too deep and they're trying to keep up up up. Uh, yeah, so they're Zed now being chased by Oriana through the jungle. He's getting away from the balls. Which is probably for the best. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, noted. So, Graves having a little bit of a rough time down here in the bot lane. He's only he's only three farm behind oh, the bush. from the bush. The, whoa, what's up? Hey, misfortune. <laughs> oh man, talk about some misfortune. <laughs> like for real. Ow. I, Lux coming Marina in. Marinabot was the... so sneaky. I didn't even see her come down there. Yeah, that was that. Uh... And Vladimir flashes in top lane. Just for to the try effect. And kill, to try and kill Zed. No, it's didn't, didn't even land an ability. Meanwhile, um, Anime Crossing doing dragon right now. They're attempting dragon. Let's see if uh, let's see if John said Sona well. Oriana ults can stop it. Well, Graves fighting back Sona. Out. Zach's still trying to get. Oh no! The Dwani's in there. Zach still takes dragon. He was waiting for that to happen. The Dwani's ult is blown. Oriana and Sona having to just GTFO. The Dwani also trying to GTFO. It looks like we're just gonna see. Anime yeah. Crossing might have been able to make that work. Sedge and Sona ults were down. Sona was uh oh uh oh. Hey Zach. Oh no, his elastic slingshot is down. He's gonna have to flash over that wall. Grace well, that, a little damage to MF as he runs. That was interesting. And Zed's still in the top lane, refusing to back. Ferrisar does that though. Plays playing a dangerous game. He is playing the most dangerous game. There's a Vladimir in there, and it has a it has a hextech revolver. I uh, I think he feels pretty safe. Uh, his. Vlad's ult is down, his flash is down, he doesn't have ignite. And the teleport's down, so I feel like he could have... He felt pretty safe, I'm sure. Yeah, MF is looking to take bot tower right now. Alakazam. He actually took, he actually took tower shots to wave clear. To All right, well, tower. MF so. just takes down bot tower and just walks away, so that's how that's gonna go down. And that's gonna even out the gold a little bit for BPG, so... Yeah, it's only a 700 or yeah, 700 gold game at this point. And Emmy Crossing starting to catch back up on farm. Graves and MF are right about even. Graves with a kill on top of that farm. Zach actually out farming Sejuani by a, by about 10 creeps, which in the jungle every creep counts. Well, we have a little bit of a tradesy in bot lane going on here, and MF and Sona chasing down Graves. That comes back in. Sona's or MF flashes out the Graves ultimate flying out there, and MF is totally out of mana. Zach doesn't look like he's gonna stop. There's the ultimate. He's gonna bounce on some people and walk away. I'm not just a force to get him out of lane so they can take the tower. Uh, Zach and Zach and Graves are safe with MF gone. They know where Oriana's at. They they probably assume Sedge is running down there. They're gonna back. I feel like you could probably could have taken that tower. Even so, League of Long Swords is happening right now in the top lane. You notice Zed has four long swords and a Doran's blade, along with some cooldown shoes. Uh, and and Zed is just gonna go on to Vladimir and do some things and walk away. It's to bit. the point. It's to the point where he has to all in Vladimir. Yeah. Vladimir's level ten. He's just sustaining everything and trades. A lot better than Zed because Zed has no sustain. A little bit of tides of blood going on. See if I can get another laser off. Oh, oh, nope, she doesn't even take it with the laser. 
I think Sejuani smited it. Yeah, she did. Yep, Sejuani did smite, so... Speaking of Tides of Blood, I just got all caught up on Dexter, and my brain hurts. <laughs> I just want to let everybody know, if you haven't watched Dexter all the way through Season 7, you need to go do yourself a favor right now, turn off League of Legends, and go watch all seven seasons of Dexter, because it's phenomenal. And it... Except don't turn off the stream, watch it on your second monitor. Anyway, um... Top lane, Zed is being forced out. And that's that's gonna happen quite a bit. Zed pings off the ward, so he's gonna stay in the lane. Zach is running around up there, and they know that they know that's warded. They know Vlad's backing out. Gold did only 300 right now. This is still a lot of times in this tournament we see the game's over by the 14 minute mark. You can kind of just pick who's gonna win. The gold lead is nothing right now. It's 400 gold. Yeah, the game, this game is the closeness. Little wave clear coming out from Lux. A little bit of a grouping in mid lane here. Four for BPG. And just three for Anime Crossing. Right, right. I don't know, both teams have a lot of wave clear. It's gonna be hard to siege towers, I feel like. Oh, Lux is gonna... Yeah, Lux. Lux is gonna put her combo down. It's not gonna do actually all that much, considering she was attacking Sona. That Oriana shield's pretty thick right now. Yeah, it is. It's blocking a nice 100, 100 damage from Lux. Yeah, so I feel like Anime Crossing is just going to need to try to split push as much as possible. You know what I feel bad for? I feel bad for Will of the Ancients. Because ever since Spirit of the Spectral Wraith got buffed, nobody builds it anymore. And Zack from the back! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Jumping Coming down on MF on there. top of that. MF, wrong place, wrong time right there. Squashing time. There That's goes that bottom tower. Wards up. That's what happens when you don't have wards up. You get Zacked. And Ferrisar going all in onto Vlad. Times the shuriken just right. Bring him down when he comes out of pool. Yep. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of damage. Very quickly. So two very key engagements going south for BPG, let, giving Anime Crossing a 3,000 gold lead. Or 2,000 gold lead, about 2,300. Is that gold lead just jumped, like you said? <laughs> they oh, would take a, a dragon, little... but there's no dragon to take. Yeah, they also did get a tower out of that too, so. And they're about to get, they're about to get another one. Red team's turret is and the top tower does fall. It's like you can see him in the future, Kyle. I know. I it, know. Is like, it is like that. So, League of Longswords in top lane, they have all been upgraded. One of them's a Vamp Scepter and two of them turned into a Brutalizer. The other one's still hanging out, but we that'll probably be a Last Whisper someday when it grows up. <laughs> it's, it's, when it's it the, grows up. It's the late bloomer. All right, well, Dragon is being attempted. It is pinked. Graves is doing the smokescreen thing. The ward over the wall. And BPM just not in a position to rotate all the way. No, not really. Zach's just hanging out with that dragon. And Sona and Vlad MF teleporting in. Vlad teleported. The dragon has been taken, but Sejuani, oh, Sejuani also is getting dodged rather nicely. Uh, there's Graves and Lux. Uh, Oriana burns ult on herself. Damage. Yep. Fair got does that ult. Sona. MF picking up Zed. Zach's going to pick up MF. There's some light bindings hanging out. Vlad doing a bunch of damage to Janna. Vlad just showed up and decided he was going to do some work. He's got a triple kill, and he's not done. Oriana ball coming down. Sejuani's going to bump into Graves. Vladimir Ori and Oriana. Sejuani's still chasing. The permafrost goes out, and Oriana picks up the ace. Yeah, Anime Crossing had a little bit of miscommunication there. I think a couple of them wanted to back out, and a couple wanted to fight. Yeah, they did. It was a great... It was going to be a great fight. Oriana yeah. burned ult on herself. They looked really disorganized. Um, and whatever the reason, BPG coming out on top of that, really taking control of the game. So they're again... Still, they're still down 2,000 gold. But yeah, there's, well, that was the dragon. Even after that ace. Right. So enemy crossing not out of it yet. I don't know. I feel Sedgel was almost wasted completely. Well, Cuddles yeah, it was, a great it was job just dodged. Of, it was just yeah, dodged. Cuddles did a great job of running in and resetting the team fight for him. 
Oriana had busted all. I don't know that they knew that. And I feel like they should have fought. I'm guessing they didn't know. I mean, both that. teams were unorganized completely in that last team fight, and Vladimir coming out on top, not getting focused down. Yeah, That's Vladimir did that thing where he was all left all alone in the team fight, and he killed everybody. <laughs> yeah, he's got Sona taking a bunch of damage. Sejuani coming in, trying to make the save. Sona taking a bunch Oh, the laser's not going to hit, but Ferrisar is going to take out Sejuani. He's also going to get Misfortune and Sona off of that flash in with the ultimate. So... <laughs> Zed says I can triple kill too, Vlad. Check this yeah. out. Yeah, it's gonna be under a tower though. Yeah. Oh man. This game. The, the back and the back and forth sees. Vlad coming in to try and make some things happen. Oh the Oriano does land onto Zach! Too little too late though, apparently. Yeah, uh, I thought that was gonna be chase that. I thought that was gonna be more to that than DCI. Like the Transformers. <laughs> Like the Transformers, he says. Yeah, like the Transformers, who are more than meets the eye. Robots in disguise. I miss you, Megan Fox. They're robots, but they don't look like robots, because they're in disguise. Right, until they turn into robots, and then they're not in disguise anymore. Your mom's in disguise. <laughs> Lucy in disguise with diamonds. Okay, so we got a mid-push going on here. MF trading tower hits with the rest of the team. Lux and Zed able to keep them off of that mid tower. Bless you twice. He's the help. He's actually talking to Bryn. Yeah, Dom, who do you think I'm talking to? <laughs> Dom says, "Bless you, Bryn." Yeah. It looks like Anime Cross is going to take mid tower by force here. Yeah, Anime Crossing's just gonna say, you know what, this one's ours. But Oriana is he, still down. He's gonna this. come back. The Vladimir ultimate. He's extremely low, but he did manage to get it off into the pool. Zed is gonna come in, say hi. Oriana ultimate finally comes off cooldown, but that is way too late to make anything, anything happen out of that. So a one for two, and a tower. Zed just went back and bought a Black Cleaver and a Blade of the Ruin King, whereas Vlad came back with Silk Shoes and a Dungeon Tower Glass. So both top lanes are looking pretty pretty big right now. Both top lanes are also uh, also damage. They also have damage output like mid laners. So this is a little bit this this game is gonna get a little a little weird. This game is gonna be who catches who yep, and blows right, them sure. up first. There's no there's no sustain. I mean, there's a little bit of sustained fighting here, but between Lux and Zed, if you if you're in the wrong place just for a second. You're gonna get obliterated. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be Sedge at this point, and you're just gonna get blown up. Yeah, pretty much. Sedge isn't actually that big right now. And a thing to mention is BPG does not have Aegis, whereas Zach did finish that bulwark. So that's gonna stop some of the burst. It's gonna stop a little bit of the damage from Oriana and Vlad, and it's gonna help them win those team fights. Yep. Enemy crossing. Definitely start to pick up a lead with the two towers up. About to be a third. Yeah, we got a big push there in the bottom lane. And there it goes. And now and right on a 6,000 gold lead. Yeah, they're getting farther and farther ahead at this point. Oh, hello, Sona. How you doing? The Sona just getting blown to pieces huh? walking in. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was not the business. Girl, you in the wrong neighborhood. Yeah, that was, that was a, that was... That was a dark alley. Yeah, we should that, not walk down. That was Crypt showed up in blood territory, or blood showed up in Crypt territory, and uh, well, we saw how that went down. <laughs> Can't roll into the enemy territory alone. Although technically speaking, it wasn't enemy territory. It is their side of the map, but uh, most of this map now belongs to Anime Crossing. So yeah, things are definitely getting a little dark for. Uh... BPG losing towers. They don't have anywhere near as many wards up. They have Baron warded a little bit. They don't actually have vision on Baron. So yeah, you have Graves and Zed both have eight thousand gold. And Zed, speaking of Zed, oh, Zed, Zed is going in. MF just getting blown the f up. <laughs> wow. John wow. picked up that kill because she needs wards. So. Jonna needs kills too. Uh, Jonna needs wards, man. 
Yeah, Jonna, oh man, this just makes me nervous what's about to happen here. And they're gonna, they're gonna Ferrisar is gonna force the rest of BBM to kind of rotate and try to stop <laughs> Zed. He's just gonna shadow over the wall there. Yep. It looks like a dragon attempt again. And it looks like Vlad is gonna really cut out. Cool. But Orianna the there now, the dragon's still getting done. Vlad trying to answer with ultimate. The dragon will go down. Vladimir Should. ultimate doing quite a bit of Sona not being able to finish off a kill. Vlad is done using. He has enough time to cool down for another pool. He will not be able to auto attack Graves to death, but Orianna will get it. Or I mean, excuse me, transfusion Graves to death. So, the trade's getting a little less and less favorable for BPG. It was a one-for-one one and a dragon. A lot of ults, a lot of cooldowns burned on BPM. Yeah, Zed uh, and anime, Jonathan anime crossing, anime crossing right now is an 8,000 gold lead, which is about to diminish a little bit. Okay, so a 7,000 gold lead. Uh, and BPG is starting to ward out a little bit. Feeling, probably feeling a little more confident after that last couple of fights. Trying to get some wards out, push them out of the, pushing them out of the game is what they're trying to do. Yeah. Yep. That's what... I mean, at this point, I feel like anything goes. Oriana finally picking up a blue buff there. I, and the whole top side of the map is black. There's no, there's no light. No I'm one has any idea that up what's a going bit. on. No one has Kyle's any idea. Dropping down some wards, changing that up a little bit. So the wards going out now for both teams. Sona getting a little support from her friends as she goes out and wards. She doesn't want to get she caught. In that dark she, alley again. She gets by with a little help from her friends. Oh man. I don't know. Today, today is today is referencing uh, obscure music day. I realize the Beatles aren't particularly obscure, but younger generations, man. I had some. I had some like fifteen-year-old kid ask me who the Beatles were, and I wanted to punch him. I didn't know. I was like, "How dare you? How dare you call yourself a human being and not know who the Beatles are?" If you don't know who the Beatles are and you're over the age of 12, you have no excuse. Here we have the mid lane getting pushed again. Another turret going down, Anime Crossing, just methodically pushing down the lanes of Anime Crossing, or of uh, BPG. Play rock band. Learn all the bands you need to know. <laughs> That's the thing. Or Guitar Hero too. That would work too, I suppose. There's a lot of wards from BP in their own jungle, top half there. Well, they need him. Vlad yeah, getting caught by the binding, he's being forced to pull. Oh man, he's gonna have to flash the wall there before he just- Ah! Ah! Oh no! That Vlad was... signed it a little too soon there. Yeah, that, I mean, you guys saw what happened right there. That was just ridiculous. The Dwani being having to flash out. MF actually recalling oh, the no! found by Lux. <laughs> That is a game-changing play right there. That's pretty much... Uh, the Anime Crossing was kind of, you know, they were, oh, they're, that's just a surrender. All right, that's gonna be GG. Anime yeah, we're Crossing. Get back in the game two one. here. Game one going to Anime Crossing after an incredibly decisive fight on top tower. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Game two coming up right after this. Right after these messages. Yeah.